on YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to copy UMD games over to your computer or just transfer them over to another USB or you can just simply just keep them as a backup. You don't need UMD dumper, you don't need any other extra programs. I'm just going to try to make it as simple as this. So everything's just going to be basic. Uh, you do need custom firmware to be doing this. Um, it doesn't matter if it's on the 1000, 2000, 3000 PSP, um, 6 dot six zero or six dot six one it doesn't matter so what you want to do is hit the select button and go down to where it says USB devices and what you want to do is go from memory stick <clears throat> to where it shows UMD disk so what that'll do is since when every time you plug it in it'll go from instead of showing your folders it'll automatically show up as your disk straight onto the computer and you can just automatically copy um yes the computer that i'm about to show you everything looks bad i'm actually using everything from my phone um so just bear with it um if you have any other questions i can help you as possible but like i said this is just going to be simple not using downloading umb dumpers umb transfers waiting 15 20 minutes uh some games will take up to five maybe six minutes at the most just depending on the gigabytes of the game give me just one moment there you go uh make sure like i said it's umd disc and i'll show you what it looks like all right here we go i'm on my laptop so you'll see right here as i'm clicking this is the one you want to look for and as you double click on it you see how it shows up the umd so this will allow you to transfer from one uh, into another and um, we'll go from there and I'll show you how to do this so what you can do let's just say if I want to copy this to my desktop just click drag and it'll just show up on there and it'll show up like this as well like I said folks sorry about the way the computer looks I'm doing everything off my phone I'm just trying to show you a simple way I see a lot of people on YouTube they're getting UMD dumpers you have to download another program you have to do other things more just to get a simple transfer um, this works good if you're just trying to um, do a couple of things like I said it may take a while <clears throat> as you can see um, and just depending on the game and then once it's done I can show you from the computer back over and I'm gonna transfer from a different PSP so I'll show you here shortly once that is done sorry all right so after you let that transfer see I have now another PSP so I don't have the game. The game that I just actually just copied over was Extreme Justice. Um, my original copy was really kind of messed up at the time. So that's what I went and did the same steps that I just showed you. So basically what you can do um, is hook up your PSP, same way like this. And then just pretty much go from there and I will show you. Okay, now that I'm back at computer, I did hook up the black PSP. As you can see, you wouldn't want to go to the ISOs. And I'm going to be copying over Extreme Justice. And it's just simple as that. I mean, it just you don't have to do so much downloading the program from your computer back onto the PSP and then download it again to the same PSP. It's just as simple as that. Just if you have two PSPs that are modified, you can take one and then just transfer it over to the next one. You don't have to do so much of the, the processing of it. So I like this way a lot better. Um, and I think using the UMD dumper is a little bit longer. Um, so hopefully this will help out you getting your games as backups. Uh, thanks for watching. Thank you.